these terms have location, if you will, within a categorical syllogism. The major premise is the premise that has the major term and that always goes on top. Again, the major premise is the premise that has the major term and that always goes on top. The minor premise is the premise that has the minor term and that always is the second uh, premise uh, or the middle of the, uh, of the syllogism. The, the, the minor premise is the premise that has the minor term. And then the conclusion has the major term and minor term. And then the term that appears in both premises is called the middle term. We need to put, if in fact the argument needs to be put in proper order, we need to make sure we have it in that order. Major premise, minor premise, conclusion. How do we know the premises and conclusions? Well, that's test one. We're on test, what, three or four now? We got to know that by now. But follow your premise indicators. Remember what justifies what, what proves what, what's the claim, that kind of thing, right? Bam. So once we put it in proper order, now we have to revert back to the lecture yesterday and say, OK, well, what is the categorical form letter that associates with this term? I mean, with this, yeah, with this argument, excuse me, with this proposition that creates the argument, excuse me. What's the proper categorical form letter, A-I-O, that associates with this particular premise or conclusion or proposition? We put that in its proper order. Major premise, minor premise, conclusion. That relationship is called a mood, M-O-O-O-D, right? And that's where we're at. I'm gonna give you one more example that the conclusion is not at the bottom. We gotta switch it up. Then we're gonna shut it down, take a break, stretch, come back, begin with mood figure. Then we're gonna go into solving the rules for validity, and then we'll be able to come up with whether or not a categorical syllogism is valid or invalid. All right, here we go. Take, take a look here. Hopefully you can see this. I'm, a, I'm scared to turn the video. This is where I need somebody here. I'm not gonna turn it, y'all be all right. I think y'all can see it. If you can't see it, email me, my bad. All right, given that all non-essential employees are on lockdown, Oh, well, I shouldn't say given that. Uh, I'll just say since. I can say, yeah, I can say that. I can say that, given that. Sorry. Given that all non-essential employees are on lockdown, it follows that some professors are not non-essential employees since some professors are not on lockdown. All right? Here's my argument. Given that all non-essential employees are on lockdown, it follows that some professors are not non-essential employees, are not non-essential employees, uh, since some professors are not on lockdown. All right? Now, what are the first thing we got to do? Find the conclusion. Right? But well, given that, we know is a premise. Since we know is a premise. These are premise indicators. So our conclusion is going to be what? It follows that. So this is going to be my conclusion. So we see it's not in proper order, right? All right? So we got to find the conclusion. Once we find the conclusion, locate major minor term. Right? The major term is the predicate of the conclusion. Right? Bam. Non-essential employee. Is my P. Professors is my S. Right? My conclusion is here. The predicate of my conclusion is P. That's the major term. The subject of my conclusion is S. That's the minor term. So now what is it that I do? Find the major minor premise. Well, where's the premise that got? Non-essential employees, right here. 
So I put P here. Then the other term, lock down, lock down, this must be M. Professor's S, this must be M. So let's clean it up. My conclusion on the bottom, SP, some professors are not non-essential employees. Some S is not P, is a what? What letter proposition? Oh, thank you. The premise that has the major term is the major premise. There it is. Major premise, P, M. All P is M. That's an A, I, or no? A. Some S are not P. No, I'm sorry. Some S are not M. Sorry. All right. Some S are not M. Some S are not. That's an O, right? Some S are not M. So, notice my conclusion is an O proposition. Some S are not P. O. Major term, not as your employees, minor term, professors. I find that in, in the premises. Not as your employees, professors. S there, P there. The term that exists in other, the, the, the term that exists in both premises and not as in conclusion is the middle term. Now it's in proper order. I now can locate the mood. And let me trick you real quick. Some of y'all read ahead. Which figure is this? Real quick. I got one person. I say you who? Shay, you ready? No? Who ready? <laughs> PM, SM, SP. Which figure is that? Figure two. So this argument is an A, O, O, figure two argument. All right. Yo, that's it for right now. Give me a few minutes. I'll come back and let's move forward, lock it down. This is video three, how to uh, identify and locate, re-examine, re I mean, re-arrange uh, 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 Chicago syllogisms. Uh, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Take care. Stay strong.